So when I woke up this morning, I saw OpenAI reportedly plans to launch an AI agent early next year. The tool will apparently be available first as a research preview and a developer tool in January. So again, this is going to be a browser based AI agent codename operator. So uh, you can see I have my Claude computer use agent running on the left here. And it's looking up information about the OpenAI operator for me. So you can see here in 2020, it's going to be the year that agentic system finally hits the mainstream. So what I've been thinking a bit about lately is do I think, yeah, the browser based agent, like the computer use ones, or is it going to be the more terminal based? Uh, I see there's a lot of research pouring into both areas. So I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, we don't have a lot of information about the OpenAI operator yet, uh, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. Uh, because they, it's a kind of a response to a response to the Claude computer use tool, right? But his, but I think OpenAI has some long history trying to make this work. Uh, I'm just gonna search up something here and tell you a bit more about it. So if you take a look at this uh, X post here from 2016, Andre Karpaty, he's a big uh, player in the AI space, right? He says. More on the world mini world of Bits, Bits project, agents learning to use the web at OpenAI and how to use it with Universe. So you can see these images here. Let me zoom in. I can't really zoom in on it, but you can see this is kind of what they started with at OpenAI. That's eight years ago now. Andre Kaparty, I think he was hired to actually start to work on this project. And that is a long time working on this because you can clearly see agents learn to use the web, right? So let's look up a bit about this mini world of bits project they had at OpenAI. So you can see this is the paper World of Bits, an open domain platform for web-based agent. So if you take a look at the abstract here, you can kind of see we simulated game environments with greatly accelerated research in the reinforcement learning, uh, the lack of open domain, computer vision, natural language processing, which operate on artifacts uh, created by humans in natural organic settings. To foster reinforcement learning research in such settings, we introduce World of Bits, a platform with agents complete tasks on the internet by performing low level keyboard and mouse actions. So this is basically eight years later, we get into this, right? So it's pretty crazy to think about that they might have been working on this for so long, or maybe not continuously, but they had it in mind eight years ago, and Andre Karpaty worked on this on at OpenAI. So the two main challenges are curate a set of natural web-based tasks to ensure that these tasks have a well-defined reward structure and uh, are re re and, two, three, and are reproducible despite the tra transience of the web, right? So that is kind of what they were thinking about already. They wanted to use computer vision, some kind of interaction with the mouse, but they were way too early, right? I think because this not did not come of anything. But finally, now I think eight years later, this is probably going to happen, right? But we can take a look at the, the article here from December 5th, uh, 2016, Universe. And if you scroll down here, you can see browser task. Humanity has collectively built the internet into an immense treasure trove of information designed for visual consumption by humans. Universe include browser-based environments, require AI agents to read, navigate, and use the web like people using pixels, keyboard, and mouse. And today, our agents are mostly learning to interact with common user interfaces like buttons, lists, and sliders. But in the future, they could complete complex tasks such as looking up the things um, they did, don't know on the internet, managing your email, calendar, completing Khan Academy lessons, working on Amazon. <laughs> so. I would say they were too ahead of their time here with the World of Bits project because the models were not good enough, the computer vision was not good enough. What is my agent doing over here? It's trying to send something. I'm not going to touch it, but it's having big issues here on my email. So you can see mini World of Bits. We, s we first set out to create a new benchmark that can capture the challenges, right? So real-world browser task, we began working on more realistic browser task, and I can't really blow up the images here, but you can see it's pretty pretty strange to look at if we think about what we have now with the computer computer use from Claude, right? 
but it was very interesting to know that they worked on this so far. And it's going to be super interesting to see what this uh, pan out to in the future now. Maybe next year with the operator. So I thought this was just an interesting throwback to 2016 when they first started thinking about this. So uh, I'm kind of excited to see what they have in store for us with this AI agent that is going to operate the browser, right? But uh, yeah, will they just follow uh, the same style that Claude did by kind of training a model to know where the buttons? Will it be like a hybrid between the Microsoft Agentic one where they are actually using, yeah, kind of more traditional terminal commands, I think. Uh, so it's going to be super interesting to see, and I hope this is not just like a, like a, what do you call it, a rumor. Because when we think about the history, remember 2016, they have been thinking about this for a while, right? And if you want to dive into this paper, it's pretty interesting to see. Because the, if it's, we, we read in looking forward here, they were already... Uh, cooperating in computer vision with Fai Fai Li. She's a big name in that part of the, the space, right? So you can see that my agent is trying to write an email here now. No, it's writing everything in the subject line, so that's not gonna work. But it's pretty funny though. But I'm gonna keep following this launch and be sure to know if this gets released in January. I'm gonna try to soon as I can to get my hands on it and start testing it out. So, I don't know. I'm quite excited for this. Maybe you are too. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let's finish this with uh, the agent that we can use today. Claude Computer Use. Okay, so let's try to end this video by actually doing the task we gave it. Uh, so I kind of now sent an email. So the task is going to be to open that email. Find the task I wanted to do. Search that information and respond to this email. So I'm just going to go execute the task. Mm, I'm not so confident. But it's going to hopefully click on that email now and open it. It started. it. Why did it do that? That's no point. It needs to open the mail to read the information. Okay, that's better. So here's the task. You need to find some information about OpenAI operator. Respond to this email with info. Open a new tab to search Google for information. Okay, so let's see if it do that. Okay, so we went to a new tab. That's good. OpenAI operator. Yes. So, is it going to go into one of those articles, or is this enough information? I'm kind of interested. Oh, is it going to click on the Verge article? Okay. But it doesn't really see much here. It's scrolling down a bit. Just got that image. Probably needs to scroll a bit more here. Okay, so it did that. That's good. It is reading some information here. And it went back, okay. Now it's gonna go back to Gmail, that's good. Extensions, why? Just go to Gmail. <laughs> it's taking like a detour on the extensions page, why? Okay, so now it's gonna go directly to Gmail. But now I wanna see, is it gonna respond to the email or is it gonna try to compose a new one? If it composes a new one, I think it's just gonna break down, right? Okay, so I'm going to click on it. It's going to st not start, but it's going to try to click on it again. That's good at least. That's a good start. Okay. Uh, is it going to find a way to respond to this? That has to be that arrow, right? Reply. Good, good, good. Now just write something. Hey, okay, that's looking good. I researched the OpenAI operator. Human specialist trained by... Okay, so that's just... Did it send it? Let's see if we get it here. Should be coming up on the right corner here now. Hey, we got it. Okay, pretty good ending. So that is how you can see the browser agent working in action. So I'm really excited to see what OpenAI brings here. Remember, eight years they've been thinking about this at least, maybe more. So that was pretty cool to read this morning. So I'm kind of excited for that. Let me know in the comments if you are. And thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you again very soon.